Good morning, it is day two here in Hoi An and we're ready to explore a little bit more and we're doing it with our... Bikes! So exciting! These bikes are definitely not the highest quality bikes, but they do. Uh, the only bad thing is that the brakes are very, very bad, so just gotta make sure I don't need to stop suddenly at any point. Otherwise, I'll just die. So we're making our first pit stop of the day, and it's at this famous Bon Mi place here in Hoi An. And we're excited to eat. I think it's called, like, Bon Mi Queen, or the Queen of Bon Mi, so it should be good. It's very cheap. We got our bun me. This is the pork one. And this is Sandy's egg one. You excited? If you want more than to stay alive. It's pretty similar to be honest. It's not like that different. But it is really nice. But I mean that's not a negative thing because all the bun me has been just like some of the best things I've ever eaten, so sounds delicious to me. This chili sauce is what makes it really special. It's so, so good. Love it. We're all fueled up and ready to get back onto the bike. Let's go, my team. So as we were biking around, we found this one area where there's rice paddies and you can normally bike right through it. Uh, but there's, uh, there's somebody in our way. There's currently a buffalo crossing our path. We found another path, so we are walking through the rice paddies, the rice fields, and it's very pretty out here. It just rained a lot, so it's a little flooded looking, but still beautiful nonetheless. This is a free roaming chicken right here. They're gonna get you! Go, go, go! <laughs> This has actually been a pretty nice ride. For the most part, we have like bike lanes. I mean, scooters use the bike lanes too, so it's not really a dedicated bike lane, but I mean, it's better than nothing. As we look up at the stars in the sky, did we, we have now made it to the beach. And it's actually a lot bigger than I thought. I didn't think that they had such a big beach here. Yeah. Really beautiful. It has those like little huts as well. Mm -hmm. So yeah, we'll walk around the beach and just enjoy the nice weather today. Time to get these pesky shoes off. It was kind of chilly this morning when we left. Like it was like, it wasn't cold, but it definitely wasn't warm. But now the sun is out and it is very hot. So I kind of regret not wearing shorts today. All right. We had a whole outfit change. Yes. At this shop over here, I don't know the name of it. And this lady helped us a lot. Thank you so much. Very good. So these are our outfits. We have some matching outfits on now. We saw a bunch of people wearing the matching outfits, and we got a little jealous, to be honest. So we figured it's time to buy this. And all of this cost us about like eighteen, yeah, three hundred thousand dong. So like eighteen dollars Canadian or so for two full outfits. And Sandy's actually came with like another. Like Top a part. Cardigan thing. Yeah, yeah, so for when it's like really sunny, if you don't want to get sunburned, you can put that on. But yeah, mm. we're feeling a lot better now because our previous outfits were definitely not good for the sun. Time to head back onto the beach area, maybe get a fresh coconut. Mm. Oh, who's this pretty lady in her new outfit? We are all done with the beach and we're gonna slowly make our way back to our hotel by bike. We are back in town and we have 
well, semi-changed. I put my pants back on, but I kept the shirt so we could be a little bit matchy-matchy. And now we are heading <coughs> over to the suit shop that we were at yesterday. I gotta go in and get a fitting done. As we were walking around, we came across a another couple that was wearing the exact same yeah. outfit as us. He's got the same shirt, and she's got the same dress. I mean, it's a pretty nice outfit, and it was very cheap. Mm -hmm. Can't complain. It's kind of crazy that we came here like less than 24 hours ago, and the suit is like mostly done, and I'm just gonna try it on, and then they're just gonna do like a couple of finishing touches. Like, how do they make a suit in less than 24 hours? That's insane. And it's not that expensive, so it's kind of crazy. First fitting is done. We're gonna come back in an hour and a half for another fitting just to kind of make sure that everything's good to go. And then I think they're just gonna like finish it up and they'll be done, which wow. is kind of crazy. Like basically a one day turnover for an entire suit. That's is crazy. Nuts. Out. <laughs> it looks like you're going to prawn or something. <laughs> yeah, look good. I think, yeah, just so she's gonna extend the sleeves just a touch. Mm -hmm. and then otherwise, it feels perfect. I mean, the pants are really good. I like the pants a lot. Yeah. So, about an hour and a bit has passed, so we are heading back to pick up my suit. So we got my suit is all done, it's nicely packaged up and now we're gonna go and head out for some dinner and I think we're actually gonna go to this place that the lady in the suit shop recommended and it's supposed to be amazing, people come from all over the place, they drive here from Da Nang just for this place so it's gotta be good food. Let's go check it out. Okay, so this place looks awesome that the lady recommended, but we definitely ordered way too much food because everything looks so good. So I think we ordered like four different things, maybe five, and we definitely can't eat that much, so this is gonna be interesting. Spicy. The meat's like really tender. Bro, oh, so good. We definitely ordered like way too much food though. Like our table is just like seriously packed right now. Very much. It's a feast. So it's so good. It has like chow soup pork. It has some nice uh, shrimps in here, prawns. This is really flavorful. And all the green inside is really nice too. It's very fresh tasting. Mm. We're almost done. I'm actually really impressed. I think we're actually gonna finish everything, which is super impressive because we ordered like way more food than we planned on. This is such an amazing way to end our day here in Hoi An. If you guys enjoyed the video, make sure you guys give it a like and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. And we'll see you guys in the next video. And it's gonna be a very special video. So make sure you guys hit that bell to be notified when that video comes out. See you then.